In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create and configure a search service application. Now I'm going to start here on my domain controller because I need to create two accounts. So I'm going to come down to Start, Administrative Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers. And the first account that I need is an account to run the search service and the various application pools that are associated with a search service application. So I'm going to right-click Users, New, User, and I'm just going to call it Search Service. And I'll use the same for user logon name. Click Next, type a password, and I'm going to deselect user must change password at next logon. And I'm going to select password never expires. Now you can configure SharePoint Server to manage changing the password for you if you want to use an expiring password. So you can leave this as an expiring password if you need to. Click Next. Click Finish. Here's our search service account. The other account that we need is a default content access account. This is the default account that Search will use when crawling content, and you can specify other accounts to crawl your contents if you want to, but you do need to specify a default account. So right-click Users again, New, User, and I'm just going to call it Search Content Default. Again, same for user logon name. Next, type a password. Deselect user must change password at next login. And I'm also going to select password never expires. Now, because we're not using this as a service account, SharePoint cannot update the password for you on this account. So if you choose to make this an expiring password, then you will need to go and reconfigure the default content access account each time the password changes for this account. I'm going to click Next, Finish, and here's our default content access account. The next thing we need to do is to register our search service account as a managed account in SharePoint Server and this will allow it to be used as a service account and for application pools when we create the search service application. So I'm going to switch over to my application server, and I'm going to go ahead and open SharePoint Central Administration, and I'll maximize my browser, and then I want to click on Security, and then under General Security, Configure Managed Accounts. And you can see I've got a list here of various other managed accounts that are being used for my other service applications. So I'm going to click Register Managed Account. And then the account that I want is that search service account that we just created, which was Contoso Search Service. Type my password. And you can see here's the automatic password change section. So if you chose an expiring password, you can have SharePoint Server handle updating the password for you by enabling this setting and specifying the parameters for changing that password. Now, in my case, of course, I chose a non-expiring password, so I'm going to leave this unchecked. Click OK. Here's my search service account. I'm going to go back to the Central Administration homepage. Under Application Management, Manage Service Applications, and then I want to click New, Search Service Application. And you can see it's given me a default name of Search Service Application 1. I'll go ahead and keep that. You can change it to whatever you'd like. We're not deploying fast in this case, so I'll leave None selected here. And then for Search Service Account, of course, I want to choose the Search Service Account that we just registered as a Managed Account. Scroll down. For the Application Pool for Search Admin Web Service, I want to create a new Application Pool. I'm just going to call it Search Admin Web Service. And again, from the drop-down, I want to choose a, that same Search Service Account. Scroll down again. And for the application pool for Search Query and Site Settings Web Service, 
I want to create another application pool. I'm just going to call it Search Query and Site Settings. And then once again from the dropdown, choose my Contoso Search Service Account and click OK. Now it will take a moment to create the service application. I've speeded it up here in the video so we don't have to wait. Now it's finished creating the service application. I'll click OK. And here it is in my list of service applications. Now I'm going to click here because there are a couple of things that we need to configure on the Search Administration page. And those are the default content access account, which you can see by default is that same search service account that we created to run the service and application pools. And the contact email address, which just has a default of someone at example.com. And these are two things that you should really configure right away as soon as you configure a search service application. So I'm going to click on the account, and I'll go ahead and change it to the account that we created for this purpose, which was Contoso Search Content Default. And I'll type my password. And remember, if you use an expiring password, you'll have to come back here and do this again and type the new password each time your password expires. Click OK. And again, the email address. Now, this email address should be a person that external site administrators of the sites that you're crawling can contact if they run into any problems. Now, I'm just going to use my farm admin account, but you'll want to use an email address for an appropriate search service administrator in your organization. So that's it for creating the search service application. Next, you'll want to create some content sources. And depending on your organization, you may also want to modify your search application topology. You can see that I have crawl components and query components all on the same application server. And depending on how much processing power you need for your organization, you may want to look at running those on separate servers. And depending on your requirements, there are many other things that you can configure as part of search, including people search, metadata properties, scopes, and crawl rules. And these are all covered in articles on TechNet, and we highly recommend that you take a look at all of those to get the best possible search experience for your organization. Now that the search service application is created, we would recommend that you create a search center site, and we'll be covering that in another video. You can leave feedback on this video or any of our TechNet content by going to the TechNet topic and clicking the rating and feedback control at the top or bottom of the page. Or you can send feedback to searchdx at microsoft.com.